Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. Salam Khan here. And today we talk about uh, the binary subtraction, but in a different way. We use complements, all right? And the first method we discuss is the binary uh, subtraction using one's complement. Binary subtraction using one's complement. All right. Now, uh, I've, I've written down the steps so that we can save a little time. And, and uh, we've seen binary subtraction previously, uh, uh, but so, so why do we need to do it through this complement, all right? So, 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 so that method is not an efficient method. Where these are uh, used in computer designing and, and the computer does operations. And that method, the direct subtraction, is a very less efficient method as compared to this method of using the complements, okay? Complement using subtraction. So the first step is that you have to convert the number to be subtracted into its complement form. What complement? It's into its one's complement form, okay? Into its one's complement form. Then you do what? You perform the addition, you add the two numbers. Uh, so how is that? Uh, let's say let's say we have an a minus b okay so how do we do it we, we can word this b has to be uh, 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 subtracted so this b uh, is converted to its complement form all right and then you do what you perform the addition a plus the b's complement all right and now if the final carry is one add it to the result obtained and if it is zero so the uh, so the result is negative and it's one complement form, so you so you uh, take again the one's complement, and then you get the final result. We see this through an example, right? So so let's say we have the first example is a one one zero zero, for example one one zero zero minus zero one zero one minus zero one zero one. So these are in binary. Uh, these are this is a base two, this is a base two. Now we have to subtract subtract uh, this b, all right? So we have to take the complement. So so the complement of zero one zero one uh, is what we've seen previously. This would be equal to one zero one zero, all right? Now this is let's say uh, b complement, and let's say a is one one zero zero and b is zero one zero one. So so now we have a plus uh, the b uh, complement of b, which is one one zero zero plus uh, one zero one zero. All right. So zero added with zero is zero. Zero added with one is one. One with zero is again one, and one with one is a one zero. So which means this that we have a final carry. This zero, this one is the final carry. All right. Now and the final result is still here. Okay. So you add this one again. Because we look at if the final carry is one added to the result obtained. So now you add it, one zero is one, uh, and then we have a zero, so one zero is again one, and then one zero is again a one, and this is zero. And this one is not a part of it. This is the uh, this is the the final carry. This final carry is called the end around carry. End around carry. All right. So this is the final result. Now, let's say we have another example. We have uh, A uh, is well, 0101, A is 0101, and B is 1100. Zero, zero. B is 1100. Zero, zero. All right, and we need A minus B. So A minus B could also be found through A plus the B's complement. So B's complement would be what? In word the bits, 0011. Zero, zero, so now we can have a plus b's complement, which will be equivalent to a minus b. So now what is a? It's 0, 1, 0, 1, and b's complement would be 0, 0, 1, 1, all right? So 1, 1 would be 1, 0, and this 1, 1 would be again 1, 0, and this 1, 1 would be again 1, 0, and we have a 1 finally over here. So 1, 0, 0, 0. So now this is the second part. If the final carry is 0, we don't have a final carry, the result obtained is negative and it's in one's complement form. Now, if you take a number, if you take a complement of, of a number once, it is its one's complement. And if you take the complement of this one's complement again, it's back to the same number. 
as we've seen previously, that A complements whole complement. This would be equal to A back. Now, this isn't a complement form. You take a complement. This would be a, the pure number. So, you take the complement now. So, the complement of this number is what? Just in word in the bits, so it would be 0, 1, 1, 1. And that is the answer, right? So, so that's about the binary subtraction using one's complement, okay? These are the three basic steps you need to remember, and the rest is easy, okay? So still, if you have any questions, you may ask in the comment section. Otherwise, that's enough for me for the binary subtraction using one's complement. In the next lecture, we deal with the two's complement. Till then, take care of yourselves and everyone around you. Goodbye.